Live on the south side of Chicago, anybody can tell you, it's not easy. Like my family, like my father's side of the family is real gang affiliated. I know that I have to be the one to make it through college. My grandma really played like a big role in my life, being like the mother, the father. When I lost my daughter, I was really sick for a long time, but I had to go on for the kids. I finally had a chance to see my mother again. I said, look, look how far I made it. I made you proud. It really only takes one generation to kind of write the course for any family. College life. Coming to a black college was important to me. It's more like a family. Being one of the black kids in a biology or chemistry class with wrestlers white. You can just tell by the look of their eyes. They look at me like, oh, what the heck are you doing here? The expectation for me here from the outside view is like very huge on my shoulders. I just try to think about getting my four-year degree and going back and showing you can make it out of Inglewood, doing some of the things I did and, and still be successful. You know, I never thought college would be walking on party, but I thought I'd do a little bit better. If you can't place into Chem 115, it, it really sort of makes it a lot harder to think about completing a bio major. I really don't know how I'm going to pay for next semester. It really gets in my head. Then start slacking on work, then getting depressed, stuff like that, and I don't want to go through that. You need to make sure that you get everything back on track, because you don't have room to start. I'm doing something that most African-American men just not doing. It's a seller at a predominantly white college. With me being the first to graduate from college, places the standards in my family and are pretty high. It's official. I have the job, city year, South Carolina, Columbia. It feels amazing. <laughs> you know, when I go back to Inglewood, I feel like LeBron when he go back to Cleveland. I completed what people told me that I would never complete. You know, walking across that stage, it was not only for my family, but I'm also doing it for, you know, my community and my hood. My goal always been to graduate from college and start giving right. back. I hope they can see me as a role model, as a positive figure in their life, and say, like, okay, Mr. Henderson was able to go to college. I know I'll be able to go to college as well.